What's up, Orange County? I'm your host, Scott Stewart, and on the show today, Melissa Manchester. A flashback with Cindy Burns at Comic-Con. Things to do in OC. Some comedy, a do-it-yourself project, but first, we're here at Irvine Ranch Historic Park to witness the most talked about wedding of the year, uniting former Ms. America Susan Jeske and James Irvine. The guests are starting to arrive. Let's go check it out. I am here with Ron Garrett from Alert the Globe. Two days exciting, isn't it, Ron? It's wonderful. We've been waiting for this for about two years now. We've been planning this thing. Yeah, so uh, alerttheglobe.com, tell everybody what's that all about? Well, it's actually an idea started about seven years ago with uh, Wadi Wachtel and Roy Bitten of Bruce Springsteen that um, was a dream at the time, and now it's become a reality, and it's basically a, a site that shortly, by the end of this year, you'll be able to go to and see live music 24-7, basically, from anywhere in the world. Wow, you're, is it true you're even streaming the, the wedding? This is streamed right now, so if you guys go to alerttheglobe.com, you'll be able to see it. Hi, I'm Brittany Wagner, Ms. America 2018. What's up, Orange County? Well, I've known Susan for such a long time, and it's been a great journey watching her find the true love, her fairy tale wedding. I'm so excited to see the dress. I can't wait, and she's gonna have beautiful hair and makeup. She's just gonna look absolutely royal. Yeah, so when you're at an event like this, does it make you wanna get married soon? Absolutely, <laughs> I've been in my relationship for three years, and I am so ready, wink, wink. So <laughs> hopefully he watches this. <laughs> I take you, Jim, to be my husband. I take you, Jim, to be my husband. Yes, I now declare Jim and Susan as husband and wife. Jim, you may kiss your bride. So in love, the way the two of them look at each other, never seen it before. Yeah. And she looks beautiful, the dress, yes. right? Oh my gosh, stunning. Have you seen the cake? I've seen, I haven't seen the cake. Oh, Have you seen, seen the cake? No, we actually, on the internet, we saw a drawing. Like she oh, posted yeah. a drawing and then I saw them bringing in piece after piece. After, it's going to be some kind of big cake, I think. I heard it weighs 150 pounds. Oh my goodness. And it's 50 inches tall. Hi, I'm Quinn Fry, and what's up, Orange County? Hey. Oh my God, the wedding was amazing. It was perfect for her. Yeah, yes. very excited. Yeah, can you just imagine coming with the little horse and carriage coming down? No, yeah, I could, and she's been imagining it for years, so I'm just excited to be a part of it, yeah. 
former Miss America and James Irvine. I heard we are doing this here at the this historic ranch is where you're where you grew up. Is that right? Where where I was born and grew up. My first six years. So of course everybody has been staring at your gown. Who is the designer? The designer Steven Urich. Absolutely love him. He designed it from scratch and um, it took over a year to make. The top layer is all hand stitched and hand embellishments has over 10,000 and uh, there's 11 layers of different fabrics, 100 yards of fabric. It's really spectacular. Is it true it's going in a museum or something? Yes, it is going into a museum and I'm really excited about it. And my crown is going to be at the Orange County Fair. Thank you so much for letting us be part of your special day. What's up, up Orange, Orange County? County? What is success? Where does it come from? Is it fate? Does it come from hard work? Or hardship? Don't worry if you're not sure. Just stay true to yourself, and success will find you. Santa Margarita, for who you are. What's up, Orange County? What's up, Orange County? What's up, Orange County? What's up, Orange County? Welcome back here with Giggle Gab is Julie Kidd. Welcome to another segment of Giggle Gab. I am in the kitchen of the hilarious comedian Tom Real, and we're going to be cooking it up and giggling and gabbing. Please say hello. What's up, Orange County? <laughs> Hi! Welcome to Giggle Gab. I'm ready for you now. America's facing an obesity problem. Do you hear that on the news not too long ago? Once again, Americans are getting heavy. They say it has to do with things like fast food restaurants, Taco Bell, McDonald's, Carl's Jr. Not the problem. My opinion, the problem is the grocery stores. This is where we buy all the food. So if we want to solve the obesity problem, the grocery stores need to take the lead with one very simple rule. The more fattening the food, the skinnier the aisle. <laughs> so Tom, what are we making today? Tell Orange County what's on the menu. Well, we're making something here today, Julie. It's a German pizza. Oh, okay. Now, I know you don't eat meat, you don't eat peppers, you don't eat cheese, you don't eat food. I don't know what the hell you live on. And but 
And you don't really eat, I don't I, think. Well, you can tell. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I don't look like this from eating. Okay. And this is just a pizza crust I whipped up before you got here. Oh, okay. Because I knew that time was You're over the good at that. I know. Do it like this. Oh, look at that. If you want. Wow. Okay, should I give it a try? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, ready? I have rings on. Okay. Oh, shit. You don't really have to, you don't really have to go for the height. Just go for the, the circular motion. Am I doing motion. the circular? Oh, yeah. Jesus. Excuse me. Wait, wait, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Good God. <laughs> look, looks like we're having takeout tonight. Okay. You know... I have flour all over my jewelry. Okay. I just got this at Walmart. Darn it. Or was it Kohl's? So I'm going to put a little cornmeal on the, uh, okay. on the cutting Ooh, board. Look at, you're so good. You know, you're you like know, a professional. I'm a professional chef, yeah. yeah. See, I'm not only funny, but I actually can cook too. I bet you could probably get a job at Shakey's. Can we talk about comedy? You know what I love is all the students. You do workshops and you're teaching comedy and your students are amazing. Been doing uh, teaching for like 2008 here in Orange County yeah. and had a lot of funny people come through the class and it's, it's really been successful. We do it down in uh, San Juan Capistrano. Okay. And uh, you get about eight to ten people per class. You know, yeah. we just started doing a class for kids. So we're teaching oh, kids how to do comedy great. too, which is really kind of, when, I when they first asked me to do it, I'm thinking, you know, how can you teach someone that's nine it. or ten years old to do it? But uh, the first class we had, I mean, it was really successful, and the kids were really, really funny. Yeah, kids are funny. Kids, you know what? Kids are people too, Tom. And you also are you produce uh, two comedy shows here. We're doing in our South County. We're doing our show at uh, the Camino Real Playhouse, which we're going on nine years now. We've Unbelievable. Been doing it. And uh, and then we just started doing a show down at Adele's in San Clemente. Oh God, that looks delicious. That's Let's great, get huh? that in. So oh. we're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> that came out wrong. Okay. So you're doing the, all these shows and you're out doing your own comedy. What is next? What do you see in the next My five future? years? My future? Yes. Well, actually, we're starting to, we're putting together a, a cooking web series. I've done cooking shows in the past for many, right. many years. And I've taken a break from that. But as you can see, cooking pretty much is my life. Yeah. And, uh, so but that's perfect for you. Yeah. So we're going to start doing a, I have a website, realfood.com. Okay. But uh, we're going to start doing a, a series of, of short little web uh, little web snippets of, of oh, cooking, maybe two that. or three minutes long. So and maybe you can come on I and, and help me say, cook. I was going to will you invite me? Yeah. <laughs> and now we have come to the most exciting part of the interview. Tom. <laughs> Don't make me do this. My funny friend. Say giggle gab as fast as you can ten times. Come on, look at the camera and go. Giggle gab, 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 giggle gab. So Tom, thank you so much for inviting me into your house. I had such a wonderful time. Well, thanks for having me as a guest in my own house. I appreciate that. I've never done that before. And you did all the cooking. Yeah. It's a double win. And who's going to do the dishes? Oh, the crew's waving their hand. Oh wait, the crew's leaving. Actually, what I do want is, can you just fill it? This ah, time? man. We're going to oh, we're have to get it. another bottle. Thank you. And you know what? Do you have a better wine? Yeah. <laughs> Each week, we want to feature one of our favorite segments from the past. Take a look at Cindy Burns and myself at Comic-Con. We're here at the Anaheim Comic Con for the second year in a row, but this time I brought the comedian, my favorite funniest housewife of Orange County, Cindy Burns. How are you? I'm doing great. Do you see some of the fans? And I'm so excited. You know I... they get dressed up here. Oh, I know. It's pretty amazing. I really can't wait to talk to some people and celebrities. 400 celebrities I are going to be here. Very exciting. You want to go in? Yeah, let's go in. Let's do it. Go grease lightning, you're coasting through the heat lap dry. Grease lightning, go grease lightning. You are supreme, uh, uh, the chicks will cream, uh, uh. Grease lightning. Were you on the show when Mr. Jeff was getting healthier? Season one and two. Dr. Drew, right? Dr. Drew. Come on over, we gotta get the Vicky and Kanicki CD. Okay, so this gentleman is really guarding the door here for Magic the Card Game. So tell me, sir, what is your name, sir? Your name is? Uh, Thomas Carney. Thomas Carney. Well, thank you. And they're playing what game? Um, Magic the Gathering. Okay, well, I'm so glad they have you on post, so nice to meet you. Excuse me, but what is your name? Ah! 
John Schneider's in the house. How's it going? Wizard World Comic Con would not be the same without you. We oh, have uh, you have got the credits. My goodness, it starts back with what Dukes of Hazard. It does, Dukes of Hazard. And then I heard it was we have Smallville. We have what's Collier and Company? Collier and Company is a movie I did that I, I produced and directed and wrote and love it. You gotta come buy it. Come get it. It's a good movie. Our favorite, John Schneider. Woo! Don't call anybody else your favorite. No, we will not. Okay. We're members of the Southern California Ghostbusters. We do and like you actually find ghosts. Yeah, we well, bust ghosts. We, we've been to the Whaley House. We actually checked out and, you know, catch them some ghosts. Yeah, and, we don't yeah. just find them. We capture them. Yeah. And are these friendly ghosts? or? Some are. We got Slimer, but the other ones, you know, they get a little bit rambunctious, and that's why we got the proton packs. Yeah. Ghostbusters! Ernie Hudson, how you doing? Hey, I'm fine, man. I'm fine. How's it going? Doing good. I saw, I knew, the hand that rocks the cradle. The Crow, Oz, you got a lot of yeah, things going yeah. down and you got a cool outfit on. Yeah, no, and it's like, uh, yeah, it's this party time. You know, this is what I wear when I get ready to party, so. Yeah. You seen any ghosts here at the uh, Wizard World today? Uh, well, I've seen a few, I'm not sure about it. It might be ghosts, but um, it's great. You know, it's great to come to these things and meet the fans. Hi, I'm here with... Lord Bruticus of Dark Empire Radio and the Dark Empire International Costuming Group. Okay, and also... Darth Mortis. Darth Mortis, a much better name, I gotta tell you. Don't make me repeat that. So tell me about your outfit, your inspiration. Well, uh, this is a custom Sith Lord costume, and, uh, well, you know, we, we, we like dark side things, and so that's what we'd like to dress up as. So you come from the dark side? Of course, there's nothing better than the dark side. We have cookies and red lightsabers. Um, where is the dark side? Uh, the dark side is all around you, uh, especially behind you. I don't know where to go with that. Hi, I'm Brittany Winner. And I'm Brianna Winner. And we're the Winner Twins. What's up, Orange County? Tell me a little bit about the Strand series. Well, our books are about a scientist superhero with no powers who has to warn the world about rapidly evolving predatory creatures. One has to carry a revolver because one never knows when robots will attack. You never know when robots, you just don't know when the robots will attack. And tell me about your outfit. Well, it's Steampunk 2. Okay. Uh, steampunk is sort of, like you said, a combination of Victorian era dress and what would have happened if steam had been the major source of power in the world. This is what would have happened if steam was a major source of power. So how are you? <coughs> Fantastic. What did you have for dinner last night, R2? <coughs> and what planet are you from? Uh, Tatooine. Oh, hey, this is an orange. <laughs> Hi, this is Lee Merriweather. And what's up, Orange County? You had a hard night last night, didn't you? Oh, yes, I did. So what's your inspiration? Is that your favorite character? Or? Oh, yes, it's um, for me to represent uh, Heath Ledger. Yeah? And um, I just hope uh, somebody can, I'm just trying to see if I can become him in a movie one day. I know she is the most beautiful one on Dealer No Deal. Look at here she is. This is suitcase number nine, Patricia. Cara, how are you, Patricia? Come on out. Oh, there she is. Look at her. Look at her. How are you? I'm great. How are you? So uh, how uh, how is it What's to be on? Oh, she's got it down already. I got to come around to hers so you don't have to turn. Do you have a website or anything that people can check you out? Absolutely, it's patriciacara.com, and I love you. You're awesome. Oh. Tell me about the Batcave. It's a very uh, high-tech environment, but it is a top-secret location, so I cannot tell you where it is. You know, I'm just going to give you some inside information. I ran into the Joker. He's here. He's here. So here I am next to the Batmobile. I just met Batman. He's looking for Robin now, so he's on it. But later, we're going to take a ride in the Batmobile. Poison Ivy. Don't mess with her, guys. Tell me about Batman. Have you guys ever had a thing? Because he's here. <laughs> um, well, I'm not at liberty to say, but... Have you been to the Batcave? <laughs> I have seen the Batcave. Yes. She's seen the Batcave. <laughs> have you been in the Batmobile? <laughs> Well, I've been on Batman's lap in the Batmobile. Does I am count? so <laughs> jealous. We had a date later on. This is Richard Hurd. How are you doing? Hi, how are you doing? I, well, I'm, I'm glad you were able to find some time on your busy schedule to stop by and see us folks here. How's everybody out there in TV land? 
I need to ask you, what kind of powers do you have? Oh, me? I'm a uh, wrestling-based superhero, a luchador. Luchador, a wrestling hero. A wrestling hero. I gotta tell you, we want to mess with you. Liking this one, what do you think? Are we good? Yeah. Are we green? Will you sing us a song real quick, Tanea, before we go? <laughs> we will be here next year. Cindy, thank you thank for joining you. me. We'll What's up, Orange County? Woo! My name is Gordon. When I decided to sell my home, I knew I wanted to move to a 55-plus community. I wanted to find a place where I felt I fit in and would be comfortable. I found Fountain Glen. The team is incredible. They're friendly and very responsive to my needs. When there's a problem, it gets solved fast. When I'm not relaxing in my apartment, you'll usually find me in the clubhouse, always having a great time. The on-site library is one of my favorite places to take a break, have some coffee, catch up on my current book, or find a new one. These days, I'm feeling pretty carefree. At Fountain Glen, this is my time. I feel incredibly fortunate to have found my home at Fountain Glen. When it comes to the people, the amenities, the adventures, I feel like I could go on and on. I truly believe that I've found that sense of community I was looking for. Looking to purchase or sell your home in Southern California or anywhere in the U.S.? Preeti Batal from Keller Williams is here to give your dreams an address. Preeti's approach comes with passion, energy, 110% commitment, and a genuine interest, creating an ultimate real estate experience for you. Go to EliteOCHomes.com or call Preeti now to discover the difference. What's up, Orange County? What's up, Orange County? What's up, Orange County? Welcome back. Here is interior designer Mindy Laven with It's a Beautiful Life Decorated. Welcome everyone. I'm Mindy Laven and this is Porch Panache. Today I'm going to show you how using a few accessories just like you would on an outfit, you can make your porch go from drab to fab in a snap. And voila! Let's talk about what I just did. You'll notice that I've changed the look of my outfit and my porch just by adding a little color. I've added these neutral lanterns on top of these vintage porch posts that are always here. I have my bench to which I've added colorful pillows and I've even added a little lime green sculptures to make this porch look fresh and fun. You'll notice that I've carried this look over onto my door so that I can tie everything together to welcome my guests. If I'm feeling like turning up the style volume, I could use a little French flair. I love this black and white. This bulletin board is a little something unexpected on my front door. And I love it because I can leave a message for my friends, or if I leave a little marker out here, they could leave a message for me. Continuing my theme of the unexpected, I've used something that you would normally see on the inside and put it outside. These pierced ginger jar lamps look absolutely beautiful out here. And when I'm done with them on my porch, I'll take them inside and use them in a different way. How about these zebra pillows? I've used them inside my house on my couch, but I also like them out here to add a little something zhuzhi to my front porch. Add that with my little bonjour pillow, and I feel like I'm in France. If I'm feeling like a day at the beach, it's not a big dive to add a splash of turquoise to my front porch. Today I've used these glass candle holders with a little sand, a few shells, and a starfish tied to the front. I've added my turquoise in a splash in the candle. Underneath my bench, I've used a sign in tropical turquoise that has a great little message to greet my guests. In keeping with the unexpected, I've used this little starfish encrusted with shells, stapled some burlap on the back, and tied it on my door knocker to make something really gorgeous right at the front door. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said that the ornament of a house is the friends who frequent it. I hope today I've shown you all the elements to give your porch the panache that will send your friends filling it. I had a chance to meet up with the incredibly talented songstress Melissa Manchester at the KSBR radio event. Take a look. Hi, this is Melissa Manchester and what's up Orange County? 
when I saw you on the list, I go, okay, what supporters county has got to come, even if it's just for Melissa, but there's a lot of fun artists today. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic, and the sky is opening up. I see lots of blue and the sunshine, and people are having such a great time, as always. Yes. I'm going to sing a song called Feeling For You, which is from my 20th album called You Gotta Love The Life. It came out in February, and uh, got musicians going to play on it. Incredible. It's a song that I co-produced with Keb Mo, and uh, so it should be fun. We got a birthday bash today. We got a jazz yeah. festival, and we got a lot of food. Yes, a lot of great food. yeah, no. It's and what's incredible is that the audience knows the deal here, and the deal is that there's so much chaos backstage because all the musicians are playing on each other's songs. They've never seen these charts before. They're just everybody's winging it, and then the, out of the chaos is magic on stage. <laughs> What's up, Orange County? 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 Here is Robin Griffin with things to do in Orange County. What's up, Orange County? This is Robin Griffin, and today we're going to check out Anaheim. There are so many fun things to do, some great restaurants, and a few secret spots. You can't go to Anaheim without thinking of the happiest place on earth, Disneyland. It has been around for 62 years. It attracts people from all over the world. They have a magical parade and the most amazing firework display at night. The best place to see a concert is the Honda Center. They have all the top artists and it sure beats driving to LA. You can even cheer on the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. Talk about a team. Our home baseball team, the Angels, play at the Angel Stadium. It's a fun family night out, so come enjoy a hot dog and some popcorn. A secret spot is the Arctic train station in Anaheim that lights up with beautiful colors. It's a way to communicate if there's a home angel game. The lights turn red if the angels play, and if the ducks play, it turns orange. They call it the bat signal. Kids and adults will love taking the train. Be sure and go to the new House of Blues. This much bigger location is in the Anaheim Garden Walk. It's a fun place to have dinner and see live bands. And you can sit up close to see your favorite artists. What a great time we had here in Anaheim with so many fun things to do. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. This is Robin Griffin, and I will see you at my next destination. Well, that's the end of the show, but be sure to check us out on the internet at whatsuporangecounty.com where you can watch videos, see exclusive photos, and contact us about being on the show. You can also follow us on Twitter at whatsuporangecounty.com. Until next time, I'm your host, Scott Stewart, and that's just a slice of What's Up Orange County. What's up, Orange County? What's up, Orange County? What's up, Orange County? <laughs> hey, what's up, Orange County? <laughs> what's up, Orange County? 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 What's up? What's up, Orange County? What's up, Orange County? What's up, Orange County? Hmm. We are. Ah.